What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Level Up with Coach Ron, the show where I give you the tips and tricks and techniques necessary to take your training up to the next level. Now, this week, we're going to deviate from our usual do this, not that style of video, and I'm going to give you a straight up technique and programming hack that I like to use to improve my cable crossover and get the most out of it. We're going to show you how to set up, how to execute it, and I'm going to tell you why this is an improvement over your standard cable fly setup. So I know we're all chomping at the bit to get a look at it. So without further ado, let's go. So with this version of the cable fly, what I like to do is I'll set up the cable crossovers nice and wide. You can also do this on a standard uh, wide rack that has you know the pull downs on each side. Uh, but I prefer to use this because you know this is a little more secluded and you don't have to feel like a jerk taking up the whole giant rack. So what I do is I set these up right above or at shoulder height. I face in on the cable. So as I fly here, we finish with a 90 degree angle between my shoulder and the cable itself. Now what this does is it places the highest amount of torque, right? Because that lever angle is gonna be maxed out at 90 degrees. Any further in, we're starting to turn it over and the arm takes over. And when it's out wide, we're not fully contracting. So what I like to do is right when I get to that 90 there, we can squeeze really hard and emphasize more of that very shortened range of the pec that is missed in the standard cable fly or a dumbbell fly. Then what I'll do is I'll immediately turn right around and I'll do that standard cable fly. So that standard cable fly, now we're overloading more at that wide, big, long pec position here, right? That's also what gets hit most in like a bench press or a dumbbell bench, uh, these sort of things. We kind of stress the pec more at the lengthened position because we're fighting with just gravity and not a cable resisted load, right? We're only able to push the weight in that plane of gravity, which is straight up and down. So therefore, as that weight comes down, we're stretching the pec, but as it gets closer and closer to the top of a bench press rep, we lose some of that tension on the chest. That's why I like to combine these two exercises because together we're hitting a fuller range of motion, a fuller range of strength for those pecs, and that's gonna help us to get greater development and increase our gain. That is it for this week's episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. Drop a comment below and let me know how and when you implemented this in your training. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, leave me a comment also to let me know if there's any future videos you want to see, any topics you want to see me tackle in the future. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Kips Online for the level up. I'm Coach Ron. I'll see you next.